A Brooklyn Park family is calling for change after a traffic accident took their son's life. They believe the crash could have been prevented if the intersection where it happened had better traffic controls. Here's Pafua Yang. A Brooklyn Park father is pleading with the city to do something about this intersection off of Candlewood Drive and West Broadway after his son lost his life earlier this month. Flowers, sentimental belongings, and authentic Asian food of rice and copia were placed at the intersection where 24-year-old Jupiter Yang took his last breath. <laughs> Cheng Ying described his son as an outgoing family guy who worked in real estate and served in the Marine Reserves. On the morning of September 12th, Jupiter Yang left the house to attend drill. He was making a turn on West Broadway and was struck by a truck. Neighbors we spoke with have been asking the city to put a stoplight on the intersection for years. Cheng Yang says, however, the city prioritized a light rail project instead. Jupiter's father is also concerned about how narrow Candlewood Drive is due to the cones in construction. He adds that barriers on the West Broadway shoulders also cause a blind spot for small cars. Brooklyn Park Police confirmed three fatal accidents since 2003, with another 19 accidents resulting in injuries. Cheng hoping his son's life will be enough for the city to take action. In Brooklyn Park, Pafu Yang, CCX News. Hennepin County is partnering with local organizations in the city of Brooklyn Park to increase COVID-19 testing. There are two community testing events this week. One of them is this Thursday at Zanewood Recreation Center. Another will be held on Saturday at Winners Chapel International Church. There's no cost to get tested at these events. There will also be two more testing events, Saturday, October 3rd and Saturday, October 10th at Zanewood Rec Center. Registration forms will be completed at the event before testing. Robbinsdale Area Schools, meanwhile, is preparing for a potential shift in its learning model. According to Hennepin County COVID-19 case rates, data show a downward trend. Local schools use that data for learning decisions. Based on the case rates, the Robbinsdale District leaders say there's a possibility that preschool and elementary students could move to all in-person learning next month, and middle and high school students could move to hybrid learning. Families would also still have the option to learn from home. The potential shift could start Monday, October 19th. A big honor for a Hennepin Technical College student. He has been appointed to the Minnesota State Colleges and Universities Board of Trustees. Governor Tim Walls appointed Asani Ajogan as a student member. The Plymouth resident is currently a student of pharmacy technology. He previously earned his BS in pharmacy and studied zoology at a university in Nigeria. He is the current president of the Hennepin Tech Student Senate, and he says he hopes to give a voice to all students. I hope to be able to assist the board in making sure that policies affecting students in Minnesota are taken correctly and equally help my fellow students to be able to have a voice. The Minnesota State Colleges and Universities is governed by a 15-member board of trustees appointed by the governor. People who live in Brooklyn Park now have a new way to get information about what's happening throughout the city. Podcast has become a very popular way to communicate with people these days and uh, we developed the idea of having our own podcast, We Are Brooklyn Park, as a way of sharing a little bit more about kind of what's happening in City Hall, um, what's happening out in the community, 
um, providing a little uh, inside information about how city employees do their work, what all that means. Brooklyn Park City Manager Jay Strobel is the host of the new podcast entitled We Are Brooklyn Park. The show will feature a variety of people from city staff members, business owners, and community leaders. The city will release new episodes every day this week and then put out new recordings every other Monday until December. Yeah, we hope these podcasts celebrate, you know, the diversity of Brooklyn Park, everything that we have to offer, uh, from having a world-class, you know, golf venue where we talk to Don Barry, to talking to the new president of North Hampton Community College, to really getting a, a, a broad sense of what's going on in Brooklyn Park and kind of what to expect in the future. All of the episodes of We Are Brooklyn Park will be available on the city's website and YouTube channel. We'll have links to both on our website at ccxmedia.org. Find more local news stories at ccxmedia.org and follow us on social media.